Coming up on today's episode of Airborne on Manned. UAVOS converts manned aircraft into UAVs. DJI introduces knowledge quiz for drone pilots in the UK. And drone charges against journalists in Myanmar dropped. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. UAVOS Incorporated has developed an unmanned aerial complex based on Pipistrel's Sinus Light Aircraft. UAVOS converted three Pipistrel Sinus aircraft into UAVs and modified the wings of the original aircraft for the installation of hangars for payload. In addition to that, the wiring was changed and the company integrated its UAVOS automatic control system into the aircraft. Vadam Tarasov, UAVOS board member, says that converting manned aircraft into UAVs is a much simpler process than building a heavy UAV from scratch. This project is part of the overall plan to create a multifunctional aerial robotic complex that could perform group missions with an integrated special payload. Test flights showcase excellent synchronization of the onboard control system with payload during simultaneous flights of three UAVs. The aerial complex includes a UAV and a ground control station. It has a payload weight of 441 pounds and it can fly for five hours. The aircraft's maximum takeoff weight is 1,410 pounds and its maximum cruising speed is 75 miles per hour. With a payload weight of 88 pounds, the aircraft has a flight time of 20 hours. The UAV's takeoff en route flight and landing are all carried out in fully automatic mode. The heavyweight UAVs are designed for long flight in conditions of high turbulence and overloads. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. A drone developed by European company Quatornium recently conducted a flight with its Hybrix.20 full electric quadcopter that lasted 4 hours and 40 minutes. They believe that this flight time beats any former demonstration ever made with an electric hybrid of a hydrogen multicopter. Hybrix.20 RPA was designed by Quatornium in 2014, and its first model was built in 2015, demonstrating the viability of hybrid technology to power drones. Ballard Power Systems has announced the development of a next-generation high-performance fuel cell propulsion system to power UAVs. Ballard has also received a follow-on contract for Institu, a Boeing subsidiary, for extended durability testing of the next-generation 1.3 kilowatt fuel cell propulsion system to power test flights of a Scan Eagle UAV platform. Ballard and Institu have partnered over the past two years to integrate Ballard's prior-generation fuel cell propulsion system into the Scan Eagle platform. Successful flight testing was announced in mid-2017. The FCC has fined a Florida company $180,000 for marketing transmitters for drones that operate on frequencies not authorized for that purpose. According to the FCC, the company Lumineer Holdco LLC of Sarasota, Florida, advertised and sold non-compliant audio and visual transmitters intended for use with remotely piloted aircraft on its various websites in violation of the Commission's Equipment, Marketing and Amateur Radio Operator Rules. The airborne surveillance market is expected to reach $5.81 billion by 2023, at a compound annual growth rate of 4.7% during the forecast period, according to a new report from ReportLinker.com. Rapid technological advancements, Internet of Things, amendments and laws, the growing demand for UAVs and commercial application, and the availability of low-cost UAVs are some of the driving factors for the airborne surveillance market. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. DJI has introduced a knowledge quiz applicable to all pilots who are operating drones in UK airspace. 
The test comes prior to government plans to introduce a safety awareness test for drone users in 2018. A recent survey carried out by the Civil Aviation Authority revealed that 27% of those who planned to buy a drone over the Christmas period were unaware of the rules surrounding their usage in the UK. The new DJI Knowledge Quiz will require drone pilots in the UK to correctly answer a series of basic questions about safe drone use before their first flights. The questions will appear in DJI Go 4, DJI's main flight app, which runs on smartphones and tablets connected to drone remote controllers. All DJI pilots will be presented with a list of eight questions and must correctly answer all of them in order to be able to fly. Pilots can continue answering new questions until they successfully pass the DJI Knowledge Quiz. DJI launched the quiz in the United States earlier this year, backed by the FAA. It will be expanded to other countries in the near future, using questions customized for each country's rules and guidelines. Charges filed against two journalists for illegally flying a drone over Parliament in Myanmar have been dropped by local authorities. Attorneys for Lao Hong Mei, a Singaporean, and Mok Choi Lin, a Malaysian, working for the Turkish state broadcaster TRT, and two local people who had been working with the journalists, will be released from detention on January 5th after serving a two-month sentence for flying a drone illegally. But there had been other charges related to importing equipment and immigration. Those charges have reportedly been dropped. The journalists and their local staff were arrested October 27 after allegedly flying a drone over Parliament's legislative complex in Naypyida, the capital of Myanmar. The charges that were dropped were the most serious, however, the government determined that the four had not intended to endanger national security by entering the country and importing the drones. The government also wanted to maintain good relations with the other countries involved. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.